Hi, this is Alfozia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is distributive property of binary operations. In the series of binary operations, we have completed associativity and commutativity of binary operations. Now, we will now look at another property regarding binary operations, which is nothing but distributive property. Let me first give you the definition. Let asterisk and plus be binary operations on a set yes. Then asterisk is said to be left distributive. If for all A, B, C belong to the same set yes and we have that A asterisk B plus C equal to A asterisk B. I mean you are multiplying this A with this B and then A with C. Here this is just an operation. I didn't mention what operation is this. So this is called the left distributive property. Same way, I'll explain you what is right distribution. For the same binary operation asterisk and plus, it is said to be right distributive if for all A, B, C belongs to yes and we have that A plus B asterisk C equal to A, C. A asterisk C plus B asterisk C. This asterisk symbol is said to be distributive if asterisk is both left and right distributive. Does this make sense to you? Yeah, this is the definition for distributive property. Let us take some operation instead this asterisk and proceed with the property and check whether this works out or not. For example, I am going to take standard multiplication. Here I am going to denote multiplication as dot because I have already used a symbol asterisk with the standard addition on the real number r is left distributive also right distributive. So this is the left distributive also these operations product and addition are also right distributive because does this make sense to you? Distributive property is nothing but multiplying the term outside the parenthesis with every term within the parenthesis one by one and keeping the operation as it is. See for the first one left distribution property I have multiplied A with B first and maintained the same sign in between and multiply this A with C again. For the right distributive property there is a C outside and A plus B within the parenthesis. I am going to start from the first one. A is multiplied with C here and I have maintained the same sign and B is multiplied with C. So these are the two properties. Only if both left and right distributive property works out you can say that distributive is working for this operation. In case if any one of the property is not working we cannot say distributive property is working for any binary operation. So we can say that therefore standard multiplication and addition on the real numbers R is distributive because both the left distributive and right distributive operations are working. Okay. For a more uncommon example, let me give you one expression. I am going to take an example. Please consider these settings. For the operation asterisk, R times R will give you again R where a b the elements belongs to the set r and please look at this function a asterisk b will give you a dot b the whole square this is just an assumption same way i'm going to give you the definition for the another operation addition for the operation addition r by r gives you again r a b belongs to r and please consider this function this definition a plus b is nothing but modulus of a times modulus of b okay now we are going to apply this and check the distributive properties this is the distributive property. Now let us apply the same thing for the given definitions. So here we have plus sign. So instead this B plus C you are going to apply this concept here and apply the distribution. Okay, let us try it. Initially I am taking the left side of the definition. So here A asterisk B plus C. You are going to apply this addition rule here B plus C can be rewritten as modulus of B modulus of C. Am I right? If you are going to apply this, you will get that. So keep A asterisk as such and apply this property. So you will get modulus of B modulus of C. Now we are going to apply this definition A asterisk B. So in the place of A we have A, in the place of B we have mod B mod C. Let us apply this this is nothing but you just multiply these two and take the square that is this def definition am i right 
okay now let us apply this exponent for every term within the parenthesis because this is a common exponent for this expression no so if you are applying the exponent here you'll get a square mod b square mod c square so it will be mod b the whole square mod c the whole square so if you take squares you will just get rid of the signs of mod so you'll get a asterisk b square c square am i right so this is the definition according to the definition we will get a square dot b square dot c square now let us check the right side of the property and check whether you are getting the same thing or not okay for this one we are going to apply asterisk rule given in the question we are going to apply this rule separately for a, a asterisk b and a, a asterisk c after simplifying that expression we are going to apply the definition given for addition so let us apply the asterisk rule for a, a asterisk b and a asterisk c separately multiply the two terms and take the square that is the definition so if you are applying dot the whole square so if you are applying the other equation you will get applying the addition definition I'm getting modulus of a square b square and modulus of a square c square so which is multiplying these two a square a square will give you a raised to 4 dot b square dot c square so obviously from these two cases I mean the left side and the right side we see that a asterisk b plus c is not equal to a asterisk b plus a asterisk c so asterisk and plus are not left distributive am i right according to the property these two sides are equal but when we apply the definitions given in this question and check the left side and right side they are not equal am i right because for the left side we are getting a square dot b square dot c square and for the right side we are getting a raised to 4 dot b square dot c square they are completely different am i right so that's it they are not left distributive hope you are clear with this example so you just have to follow the definitions and rule given in your example question now let us discuss the same distributive property in arithmetic the distributive property of multiplication over addition is important in elementary mathematics am i right okay the distributive property of multiplication over addition is this i have written the definition on the board the first one is the left distributive property because the multiplication is on the left of the parenthesis and the second one is the right distributive property because the multiplication is on the right side of the parenthesis all multiplication algorithm depends on the distributive property for example when we multiply 49 45 times 9 so when we multiply 45 times 9 by multiplying 5 times 9 and 40 times 9 we use the right distributive property am I right let me write it on the board 40 plus 5 which is equal to 40 times 9 plus 5 times 9 anytime we finish a multiplication problem by adding we are using the distributive property so if we think of multiplication as finding the area of a rectangle then distributive property can be nicely illustrated let me write the uh, let me draw the figure for you please look at the illustration given in this figure the sum of the areas of the two smaller rectangles is the same as the area of the larger rectangle so 40 times 9 plus 5 times 9 is equal to the larger rectangle 45 times 9 finally foil the standard way in American algebra of remembering how to multiply an algebraic expression hope you are all familiar with foil multiplying the first term out and last term later so this is the application of distributive property in real life example so what about division when we talk about the distributive property we usually mean the distributive property of multiplication over addition saying distributive is a shorthand abbreviation we could just as well as ask about the other distributive properties for instance does the division distribute over addition okay let me give you the division and check I have written the definition of distributive property using division over addition so we really ought to check the truth of this equation let's try the first one the left distributive property of division over addition consider a equal to 1 and b equal to 2 and c equal to 3 so this will be 
I'm going to plug in ABC values on the left side. I mean the left distributive property and check whether I'm getting both sides equal or not. I get 1 over 5 for this expression. If I plug in ABC, now right side. If I do the fractional addition, I get 5 over 6. But 1 over 5 is not equal to 5 over 6. So left distributive property of division over add addition does not exist at all. Now let us try the second one. The right distributive property of division over addition. Using the sample values, the same set of sample values 1, 2, 3, we will get. So for the left side, I get 5 over 1. Now let us apply the same thing for the right side. B over A plus C over A. We will get. So using the sample values uh, from the same ABC, we assume for the previous one, I'm getting both or equal to same number. So we get the same result from computing both the ways. But it also works for A equal to 5. I'm going to assume second set. Even if I check this, I'm getting both the sides equal to same result. You can also try this one. But this is not enough to prove that there is a right distributive property of division over addition. But it seems to suggest that it is true. And indeed it is. From the examples we discussed. So division distributes over addition from the right but not from the left. Some of the, some of the examples may work out but we cannot make sure. We cannot say that this will definitely work out. But these examples shows that Division distributes over addition from the right but not from the left. Hope you are clear with the concept that we discussed in today's video. In case if you have any query, please let me know. See you in the next video.